Back to our pinpoint weather alert locally. Area continues to recover from yesterday's powerful rain and windstorm. Take a look at this footage from New Hampshire. These look like class five rapids out in Colorado. Flood warning issued in Jackson, New Hampshire. The river raging through the woods, swallowing up trees, going right over a bridge. National Weather Service says flooding caused by the rain. A little combination here of the rain and the snow melt from some of the mountains. Several roads were closed. Several ski areas across New Hampshire and Maine are also closed because of this storm's impact. Can you imagine, though, if yesterday was snow and not rain, we'd be measuring it in feet, I would imagine, TJ. Yeah, that'd be like two to four feet of wow. snow, maybe five feet of snow. It's a different kind of system. We wouldn't get that much uh, precipitation in a winter storm right. as opposed to what we had yesterday. It was more like a spring-like storm. Uh, we're still, yeah, still seeing the impacts from uh, the rain yesterday, especially in the rivers. Let's take a look at the uh, river situation across the area. We are looking at a major flood occurring on the Patuxet River. We're in Osquatucket down into what we call a moderate flood stage and dropping pretty quickly, which is good news for the folks up there in Smithfield, North Providence, Centerdale section, North Providence, uh, Blackstone River, you're in a moderate flood stage. Same for the Wood River, Pawkatuck River, minor flood stage at the moment. So here's the situation, all the rivers, and we've got major flooding on the Patuxet River this morning. Uh, and the levels are expected to crest this morning and then slowly recede below flood stage probably by Thursday afternoon. Meanwhile, we got dry skies this morning. I walked outside, skies were crystal clear. Now we're seeing some clouds rolling in. It's our East Greenwich camera, and they're in response to some sprinkles working across the region. A lot of this not quite reaching the ground, but out across Cape Cod, say Chatham, even out toward Nantucket, we are looking at some rain showers working in, and that's in response to an area of low pressure to our south. I'll show you that in a second. We've got moderate to major flooding that occurring uh, today. As we take a look at the three key things, fortunately, we're looking at dry skies and the rest of the week, actually right through Christmas, looks quiet. Upper 30s in Smithfield, now 40 in Providence, 41 Newport, 43 in New Bedford. We've got those rain showers out there on the Cape and uh, this little area of low pressure, which has formed along a front that came on through, is going to be zipping out of here as we go through the morning hours. In fact, by 9 a.m., it'll be almost up in Nova Scotia. Our skies will uh, clear out this morning, looking at sunshine for the afternoon staying dry. We're dry through the night with clear skies, a little colder tonight, taking you into your Wednesday evening, still dry and focusing in on Thursday. Maybe some extra clouds here and there, but we're going to be uh, just fine as we head through the rest of the week. So for this morning, temperatures will be climbing back through the 30s, getting into the mid 40s by noontime. We'll have those extra clouds around this morning, but the sunshine should return. This afternoon, temperatures should be climbing back all the way up to 45, about five degrees worth of warming today. It's going to be a little breezy as well. It'll feel a little bit cooler, likely in the upper 30s at times. The wind chill factor, 42 Boroughville, 42 Foster, Johnston, Providence, mid 40s, South Southeastern Mass, Fall River 45 over in New Bedford, topping out mid to upper 40s this afternoon. But overall, not a bad day. Here's your seven day forecast. Now tomorrow, looking at sunshine around 45 again. Thursday, sunshine a little bit cooler, down to 42. Gets a little bit colder for Friday with highs only around 37 degrees. Weekend looks okay. Sunshine. Mixing with clouds on Saturday, about 40 degrees. Christmas Eve looks okay, partly sunny and dry, and even Christmas Day, no problems at all. With temperatures topping out around 47 degrees with lots of sunshine, not a raindrop to be found on the seven day forecast, and we don't need any more. Full forecast, you can always get that on our website. That's at W.